Hey, this is John from B-Lab, and today I'm going to walk you through the SDG Action Manager. Start by opening a new browser window and going to app.beimpactassessment.net forward slash get started forward slash SDG Action Manager. Complete the form and step through registration. Existing B Impact Assessment account holders just need to log in. The dashboard will display the SDG Action Manager introduction with the opportunity to learn more. Here, companies can learn about the SDG Action Manager and what they can expect by using the tool. From here, the SDG Action Manager is a click away. The SDG Action Manager landing page is the jumping off point where companies can find the SDGs that matter most to them. Based on the company's industry, the platform will recommend SDGs. Below the recommendation are the remaining SDGs. The baseline module is a company's jumping off point. The baseline module is rooted in the 10 principles of the UN Global Compact. To expand a question, click the summary. After reading the question, check all that apply. After checking an answer, you'll see the save option. Click next to advance to the next question. After saving your answer, you'll notice the background of the answer turns to a color. This will help you identify answered and unanswered questions. As the B Impact Assessment and SDG Action Manager share some question content, answers are also shared. In this example, this question also appears in the B Impact Assessment Worker section. The question filter provides a fast and effective way to filter a set of questions. In this instance, let's find all unanswered. Please note that the baseline module must be completed in order to unlock the remaining SDG modules. With the baseline complete, let's take a look at this company's performance. Click Report, SDG Performance. Click the arrow to reveal the scores in each subsection of the baseline module. Here, a company can see where they're doing really well and also spot the areas where they can do some improvement. To jump back to the questions, just click View. With the baseline complete, a company can now hop into the remaining SDGs. Here we'll take a look at SDG 1. With SDG 1 complete, let's hop back over to our performance. Here we can get a clear view of how a company's operations, supply chain, and business model create positive impact, as well as identify risk areas. In some cases, a company's current answer to a question might not be the answer they want in the future. This is where setting a goal can help. Click the star icon to open the goal window. Here you can see the current answer and also choose the answers you want to get to in the future. Set a due date and enroll to receive email reminders. Don't forget to save the goal. Setting a goal is the first step towards long-term improvement. The SDG Action Manager encourages collaboration. Adding team members is a snap. Click the plus sign, add your coworkers' information, and we'll send an invitation their way. When returning to the platform, after a successful login, you'll land on your dashboard. Here, you can get a snapshot of how things are going. Take a look at your goals and quickly get back to the SDG Action Manager. I hope you enjoyed this look 
at the SDG Action Manager. Thank you for your time.